Here we go. First period is helping me make this solve a right triangle demonstration video. So somebody, what's the length of this side right here? Somebody shout it out. No, no, no. What's the length? Say a number. 20. 20. Okay. So what should the length of the hypotenuse be? 27. 27. I heard a student go like that. All right. We have all the information we need to find out these three things. We're going to say this is side X. This is Y degrees, and this is Z degrees. So let's see. We know 20 and 27 compared an X. How can we figure out what X is? What's the theorem? So that's right. Pythagorean, X squared plus 20 squared equals 27 squared. You guys got calculators to help me out real quick? Somebody plug in 27 squared real quick for me. X squared plus 400 equals... Say it again. 729. Now if I subtract 400, I'm trying to isolate x. This is 329. And square root. What's the square root of 329, please? 18.1. Everybody agree? OK. I have students help me on the calculator. So that's good enough. So this is going to be 18.1. Now I need to find out z and y with inverse trig ratios. So remember, we're going to use inverse. So let's start with angle Z. So uh, which trig ratio, if I'm standing right here on this part of the room, am I, is 20 going to be the adjacent wall or the opposite wall? It's adjacent. So which one relates adjacent and hypotenuse? Yeah, it's going to be cosine. Good. Remember, you're supposed to write SOHCAHTOA like this every time you try a problem. So cosine of z equals 20 over 27. All right, now how do we isolate z? We take inverse cosine of both sides. And that's, I'll put it right there. So the angle z is going to pop out. Can you guys type inverse cosine and then parentheses 20 over 27, please? Everybody try that in your calculator. Write me out right there. Inverse cosine parentheses 20 divided by 27 and enter. Does everybody agree 42.2? I need some independent confirmation. Did anybody else get that on their calculator? Yes? 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 All right. So Z is equal to 42.2 degrees. And then lastly, how do we find Y? If you know one acute angle, how do you find the other one? 90 minus this one, because the three angles have to add up to 180. You're already taking care of 90 right here. So to find the other angle, you just go 90 minus the one you know. So what's that, uh, 37.8? Somebody? 47.8. Good catch. OK. That's it for the video.